If you've seen my video on sparkles, which obviously you have because like, like it's your job to keep up with my, you know, videos and day to day life, of course, but you should, you should know, right? Even if you didn't watch the video, even if you don't know who I am, I'm just some random guy who popped up on your page. These are terrible. Okay. And the reason I said these are terrible is because they're literally just particle emitters, but worse. Okay. Because particle emitters have just so much more stuff to them. And as sparkles, it's like, what? Oh, I can change the color. Oh, I can, I can change the, the speed. Like, bro, I can, I can do it in the particle emitters as well, right? But that's besides the point. I was playing around with Studio, and again, this isn't like a new thing by any means. But I just realized, we have fire, right? And what does fire look like if I just place it inside the part? Fire looks like this. So it's a bunch of particles, right, that are going up. So yeah, it seems like we have a fire particle and then we have this like smoke particle, right? And so the fire particle gets smaller as it goes up and you know, disappears. And then there's a smoky, smoky afterburn, right? So let's actually discuss what fire can do as in like what properties it has, you know, all of this, all of that, blah, blah, blah. Color, you can change the color. Now this actually looks sick, okay? I won't lie, already a great start compared to sparkles all right let me let me be completely honest like this this is cool like i'm not i'm not gonna lie this is this is banging okay um let's see heat what does this do uh, i think just like how how high it goes i don't know like yeah okay yeah it's just it's just kind of like how high the flame rises right so maximum is 25 okay that's interesting secondary color seems to be the um the color of the second particle, right? Because again, there's two particles. So you have the second, the particle color. You have the size, which I don't even know how big this can get. There we go, yeah. Or I guess one. Which you have this like tiny, or two is the minimum. Yeah, and you get this like very, very, just tiny kind of fire, right? Well, that's not tiny. You know what I'm talking about, okay? You know what I mean. And then time scale, again, just how fast this stuff is moving or not moving at all, right? Frozen in time and space. There we go. And it just disappears. Wonderful. And so I was just, I was just looking at this, right? And I was thinking like, okay, what can what can I actually do with this fire, right? So I'm actually I'm just going to copy the fire, right? I'm going to delete it. And then if I were to play the game, right? If I were to just yeah, again, play the play the game right now, you know, see what's up. And I just walk around. What happens if I give my player the fire. So like on their head. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? It's like that, it's like that meme, you know, of that skeleton guy of like, it's a skull and it has like fire like off of it. And he's like, hey guys, he's like on a motorcycle, you know, he's an alpha male, you know, you know, those, you know, those memes. They're, they're so funny. I love being an alpha male. I want to become a, a yogurt male next time. I heard yogurt males are better than alpha males, I think. I'm not too sure, though. So someone in the comments, please confirm that yogurt males are better than alpha males. You know? So we, we, we gotta we got, we got to, we got to watch Fresh and Fit for that. But as you can see, yeah. So we have fire, you know? You got to attach it to a part and everything. And I, I, I don't know why. I always thought that fire, like, damaged you by default. Because every single game I would play, you know? Whenever there was fire... You step on fire and it damages you, right? But I guess what they did is like the part, like when you step on the part, you do like the whole part touch thing and then that's when it damages you. And it's just this whole stupid thing, okay? I'll be honest, it's it's stupid. Um, now look at this, bro. What What is this, okay? What is this? Now, another thing I was thinking, right, is how good is fire for um, decorations, okay? Decor. So let's say I make this part, right? I make this like here, like just thin, okay? I'll make a thin part. Like, I'll make it very tall. And then I'll make it anchored, okay? I'll make it anchored. I'll... Can, sure, can't collide, why not? Um, I'll just make it invisible, okay? I'm gonna move it over here. Then I'll duplicate it again, and then I'll rotate it like so. Nope, wait. Yeah, like so. And then, let's see. Um, uh, move it over. Yeah, uh, whatever, okay. Yeah, good enough, good enough. And then what if I just add fire to each one? Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see, let's see. Okay, fire, okay. And then I just paste it in to both of them. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Pop off. Pop off. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. What about the, the heat, right? So we need the heat. And, ooh, that's already good. But let's see. How far can we take this? Ooh. See, like, at this point, that's not even fire. That's, like, that's some shadow ability. Because you see, it has, like, this, like, white thing in the middle. And, like, the, the edges are, like, see, from fire. From fire. We've just made some anime-esque ability. And then, I can't forget the secondary color as well. Look at this. How awesome is this? Genuinely. What? Okay, if I play here, if I play here, right? Bro, this is this is such a sick screenshot, though. Like, don't lie. Like, look at this. Like, whoa. Look at that. That's going in the thumbnail 100%. Like that, there we go, yeah. Take a screenshot, feature me. That's that's cool. And then if I if I do the thing where I give myself um the flame. Whoa. That's amazing. That is that is beauty at work, boys, okay? Why is it not right? Okay. I'm a little stupid. My bad. I'm a little slow at times, okay? But look at this. Look at this. Doesn't this just make you want to like I don't even know what, what this makes you want to do, but it makes you want to do something. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. Fire. Literally. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> look at this, bro. Look at this. What? Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's, that's fire. That is lit. Now, something to keep in mind as well is that if you just add fire, um, I th it's weird how, yeah, by default, I think fire is just in the middle of the map, right? So if, like, I don't parent it to anything, then it's just kind of here. It's in the center, right? But then obviously if I parent it to, like, a part, then it's going to be in the middle of that part, like so. Or maybe it's not. Maybe Roblox doesn't want me to drag. There we go. Okay. And another thing I've noticed as well is that you can't actually select where the fire is on the part. So the fire doesn't like la like need an attachment, for example, right? So if I make an attachment and I add it like here, it doesn't it doesn't work like that. Um, and I'm curious if I edit the pivot of the part, would that would that work? Let's see. How do I edit the pivot? How do I edit the pivot, boys? Uh, pivot offset. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, so editing the pivot does nothing. Does absolutely nothing. I mean, I guess you get you get this cool spinny effect. Bro, this... this Honestly, though, I hate fire, bro. Anyways. Yeah, gang. Um, gas the... No, not gas. Not, don't gas anyone, please. The, um... Uh, th this thing... Uh, yeah, yeah, so I found this as well, and that's gonna be for another video. But this, bro, I have too much to say about this, I'll be honest. There's too much for me to talk about with the gas, I mean, the smoke. <clears throat> you know what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, boys, check out my awesome, amazing course in the comments. <laughs> oh, man, we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.